This is my further response to the girlfriend tag. And boy, it didn't take me long to get comments on this one. <laughs> wow. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to read these to you. It, this is interesting. Now, the first person I'm going to read from, I only got two people to actually comment back. That was interesting in itself. I would have thought that every single person I commented on would have commented me back, but they didn't. So anyway, let's just go into this. Uh, the first one is BCICAN357. Okay. Now, this person uh, is either Vanessa or Stephanie. And I have reasons for saying that. Number one, this person posted three comments to my video and then suddenly closed their account. That's evidence number one. But I'll get into evidence number two in a minute. Here's the comments. Ready? Okay, so this was not the let me explain every part of my life video. Then why'd you make the video? Here you are discussing all these details of your life on public YouTube. Why'd you make the video then? I am not going to get into too much depth about how much of a waste of time it was for you to do this. Oh, it was no waste of time. I learned a lot of stuff from you people. I learned a lot. The question is, did you learn anything from me? Hmm. Or for me to even comment on this. If you thought this was a waste of time, why did you bother? Yet what I will say is that you really not, must not be a good listener. Oh, really? Look at all the questions I asked you. I was a very attentive human being. I listened to every single word you two had to say. Makes me wonder how attentive you guys were of me. I wonder how far along you got in the video before you said, I just quit. Or just not really know much about society to know that a cougar and their video at least, and it was your video, I know it was. It's not just an animal in the wild. I know darn good and well they weren't talking about a cougar which was an animal in the wild. I know they were talking about a mascot, but apparently you people don't know about mascots very much because many mascots wear a full body suit with a headpiece. Now if you're wearing a full body suit with a headpiece, how are you going to see the person on the inside? Very good question. Yeah, she is literally a cougar. Urban Dictionary, dude. Well, why don't you read a real dictionary and an encyclopedia to go along with it? Then we'll talk. They answered questions, dude. No, no, no. You answered questions, and you answered selected questions, the ones you wanted to answer. But then at the end of your video, you invite people to ask you questions. If you don't want questions, don't invite people to ask you questions, because I asked you a buttload of them. And not one answer. Not impressed. They didn't write a book or do genealogy tests as to prove why they look the way they do. Maybe they should have. It would have made a much more interesting video. Let me answer a few things for you, though. Well, okay. This is, this is nice. They didn't talk about Easy A because they didn't watch it. You know, take a hint. If they didn't actually watch the movie, why would they even bring it up? Maybe if they had actually watched the movie and given a full criticism of the movie, it would have made a more interesting video. I mean, isn't the whole point to going to a movie theater and paying that much money to see a movie is to actually watch the movie and see whether you like it or you don't? Maybe you guys should have get, given a rave review over it or, or a bad review. That would have been a lot more interesting than what you guys talked about. Vanessa got a ton of chocolate for Christmas. White, milk, and German. Hmm. Well, beware of the heart disease. She wears that hat because it is something. It's, it's awesome, apparently. Okay. Why is it awesome? I mean, it, 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 is it a fashion trend? Uh, do, do you see this in fashion magazines? Oh, look. Hey, look it, this makes me look awesome. Who says it, it's awesome? Just you? Maybe you need to come up with a better story like uh, this was bought for me as a gift and the person that gave it to me was really a nice person and I thank them very much. That would have been more interesting than what you just said. It would have kept me awestruck and entertained. Okay. 
Okay, Urban Dictionary again. Why don't you guys read real dictionaries and real encyclopedias? That would be more interesting what you said. And there are 20 windows at the cottage. Now this is the part that absolutely proves to me that this was it written by Vanessa or Stephanie. If it wasn't written by Vanessa or Stephanie, how would you know all this stuff? How would you know there's 20 windows at the cottage? Obviously you've been there, or you wouldn't know this stuff. And I don't think you just invite 20 or 30 people. You, just, you don't have a constant house party at the cottage. At least that's the way you guys presented this. All right. But little Timmy broke one, so I guess 19. Don't ask how or why. Well, I am going to ask. How did the window get broke? Why did the window get broke? What happened to little Timmy after he broke the window? Did he get in a lot of trouble? Never answered. Added bonus for you. Toronto Maple Leafs are a hockey team. I am very much aware that they are a hockey team, but I bet you are not aware of where they actually are. I bet you don't even know where Toronto, Canada is. Let me tell you something. You cross one lake and you can go all the way from Toronto to the northernmost part of the state of New York here in the United States. So the question remains, do you guys live in New York? Do you live in Toronto? Maybe you've actually seen the actual Maple Leafs while they play. It's possible. Now that would have been something interesting to talk about. As in the sport hockey, I know all about the sport hockey. I know all the checking and everything else. Please don't ask how hockey got started or why they are named the Toronto Maple Leafs. Well, since I know you're not going to answer it, I'm going to go ahead and answer this. I could do a full-blown presentation on how hockey got started, but I'll do that in a later video. This is what I will say. The Maple Leaf was adopted because soldiers back in World War I, there was a regiment of Canadian soldiers that adopted that as their symbol. Okay, now, I know there's another story about these soldiers in World War I. Uh, it just depends on which story you go with. But one of those two stories where they adopted the symbol of the Maple Leaf to represent the regiment of their troops, that's where it all came, the, the Maple Leaf came from. So, there you go. A simple check of Wikipedia would tell you that. Alright, so you know that story now. And yes, later on I probably will do a video, a full dissertation on how hockey got started. Particularly how the Maple Leafs got started. I'll probably do that one too. So, stay tuned for that. Now, how about Lee is buzzing? You have nothing better to do in your free time than reading our comments and complaining about them? Well. I'm the guy that reads books like this. Let me tell you something. I'm a level one data processor. I know how to speak Italian. I'm learning how to speak Spanish. I know how to read and write Latin. I know how to do accounting. I know how to do all kinds of other stuff, including I've been interpreting the health care bill for everybody. But you know what? I don't want to spend all my life in textbooks. So once in a while, I do take a break, and I enjoy doing stuff like this. Because I want to see how interesting you people are. And from what I can see so far, you're not very interesting. You really didn't keep my attention very much, but okay. All right, please get alive. I do have a life. Every person has different opinions, I'm, and I'm mentioned in this video, and it's just inappropriate to judge my com comment. Really? You had nothing to better to say than these people were just awesome? I was hoping for a bit more. Oh, well. This is what I wanted to tell them, and if you don't like it, better leave YouTube. Well, I'm not going to leave YouTube, and I hope in the future you give better comments than this, more interesting stuff, put me to the challenge. I love it. I would absolutely enjoy it. And then you write me a personal message and tell me how pathetic I am. Really? I give a full-blown dissertation on the girlfriend tag, and you call me pathetic? Hmm. Makes me wonder. Anyway, that's all I got to say. Hopefully the next time you guys will comment on this, maybe you'll have better stuff to tell me. But I'm going to send a copy of this to 
Vanessa and Stephanie and this Lee is buzzing, whoever it is. And hopefully we'll get something more intelligent, more well-informed, whatever you want to call it. Alright, this is Ted the Speed Learner signing off. I will tell you more in a future video. Stay tuned.